If I was a freshman, what would I do to land a baseball scholarship? So today I'm gonna to talk to you back when I was a freshman in high school and basically what I would have known to be able to land a baseball scholarship sooner. If I knew then what I know now, there are a few key things I'd focus on to set myself up for landing a baseball scholarship. But here's the deal. It's not all about getting that scholarship right away when you want it to, all right? Because I think a lot of freshmen would think and would love to be able to land a college scholarship right away, but that's not what it's all about. As a freshman, you need to be able to focus on the foundation of your physical and mental development. So let's dive into what I'd do if I was in your shoes as a freshman. So if you're new here, before we get started, my name is Evan Mendoza. I have seven years of pro baseball experience under my belt between the Cardinals and Padres. I played three years at the D1 level in the ACC at NC State University, and I studied aerospace engineering, and I was also on varsity all four years of my high school baseball career, and I'm here to share all that knowledge with you. And I'm the baseball guy that talks mentality development and even recruiting. I founded my own online academy, the Mendoza Baseball Academy, and we help high school baseball players bridge the gap into college. All right, so now let's get into it. We should really be focusing on our physical development if we're a freshman trying to land a baseball scholarship. So that's first things first. If I was a freshman, I'd be all about the physical development. That's really the number one separator that I feel like a lot of people don't understand. A lot of freshmen are usually pretty tiny. They're maybe a little bit undersized and that's okay. You probably haven't hit your growth spurt yet, but you have to build a strong foundation before you can even start thinking about scholarships. So number one, commit to a strength and conditioning program. And at this stage, your body is still growing so it's the perfect time to start building strength. I'd focus on a solid strength and conditioning program that includes weightlifting, agility drills, and even some flexibility work, all right? So don't skip the basics. Squats, deadlifts, core exercises are gonna be your best friend. Honestly, just moving around in the gym and feeling comfortable in the gym are gonna be your best friends. You don't necessarily need a baseball specific workout program your freshman year. You just need to understand how to start lifting. It can be intimidating the first couple of years, maybe the first couple of months, but the sooner you get away from those fears, the better off you'll be. So this is what's going to help you stand out physically when it comes time to compete for that scholarship. Because in a couple of years, they're going to do this thing called the eye test. They want to see physically developed uh, baseball players. So Step number two, work on your speed and agility, guys. So speed is a game changer in baseball, and I'd make sure to include speed and agility training into my routine one million percent. Whether it's just sprints, ladder drills, or plyometrics, uh, improving your speed can make you more valuable on the field. And for, fair warning, like I did way too much distance running back in my day, and that ultimately engaged my slow twitch muscles rather than my fast twitch muscles. I really wish I did a lot more sprint, uh, you know, short sprint, uh, work uh, throughout my uh, th you know working programs and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I would probably just stay away from long distance running unless you're like a PO already. But if you're a freshman, I would highly advise you play multiple positions. So improving your speed is just going to make you more valuable on the field, and it's also going to turn you into an athlete. So colleges are always looking for players who can cover ground quickly and make plays. Step number three is just to perfect your mechanics and start understanding how you move in space, all right? So this is also gonna be a time to you know refine your mechanics, whether you're a pitcher, hitter, fielder, doesn't really matter. I'd spend extra time with a coach or a mentor to make sure your mechanics are solid. Bad habits are hard to break, so focus on developing the right ones now. The better your mechanics, the more consistent you'll be, and consistency is key when you're being evaluated by college coaches. So now, Focus on the mental development. Next up is the mental development. The mental side of baseball is just as important as the physical side, especially when you're aiming for a scholarship, right? So a little uh, background as far as like how to develop a strong work ethic, let's get into it. So as a freshman, I focus on building a strong work ethic. This means showing up early, staying late, and putting in extra reps more than anyone else. It's easy to get caught up in the end goal of landing a college scholarship. And I see this all the time where everyone is so drawn in to the end goal of landing a college scholarship. But then once you land that college scholarship, like what happens? Like play that scenario out in your mind. You're a freshman in high school right now. You're listening to this video. You land that college scholarship that you've been dreaming about. What happens on the next day after you fall asleep? What happens? Because if you think that you don't have to do any more work and you have achieved everything that you want to achieve, you are 100% mistaken. 
those goalposts of whatever that goal was for you landing that college scholarship moves further and further and further away. You might be able to celebrate it for the next like couple of days, but I promise you the next thing on your mind is gonna be either starting as a freshman or getting drafted after your senior year of high school, which are huge achievements, right? This is gonna help you ultimately further your dream of playing at the next level. And it just gonna keep on revolving, guys. It, it's like a revolving door, it truly is. Whatever your dreams are, they're, you're gonna achieve them and then you're gonna set new ones. And this is just the evolution of you being an athlete, hopefully a world-class athlete that's able to play at the highest level. So it's easy to get caught up at the end goal of landing that scholarship, but remember, it's the daily grind that gets you there. Your biggest goal is control the controllables, right? Control your inputs, not necessarily the outputs. Your inputs every single day, if you're able to control them on a consistent basis, you're gonna have a very good opportunity to be able to play in college. It's as simple as that. So work ethic is something coaches do notice, and it can make the difference in whether or not you stand out. So learn how to handle some pressure, guys. So baseball is a game of pressure if you think of it that way. And the earlier you can learn to handle it, the better off you'll be. And I'd work on staying calm and focused in t tough situations. I, I know you're a freshman, you might be stepping on the box, you might get intimidated, you might get nervous, you wanna succeed so much, right? This could just be done through visualization techniques, breathing exercises, or even just putting you know, your, uh, yourself in that pressure situations during practice. Remember, the way we practice is the way that we play. So handling pressure well is something college coaches look for. It shows them that you can actually perform in those big moments when it matters. It's also important to understand that you should be able to build a resilient mindset. So not everything is gonna be going your way, guys, and you're going to have bad games. You're gonna have tough losses, and you're gonna have definitely frustrating moments where you're not performing at the best of your ability. And college coaches, to be honest with you, are looking for those moments because they want to see how you respond. As a freshman, I'd focus on building that resilient mindset. This means bouncing back quickly from setbacks, staying positive, and always looking for ways to ultimately improve. Resilience is what's going to keep you moving forward when you know going gets tough, all right? There's gonna be opportunities, there's gonna be um, times where you know, you fail in the game of baseball, guys. It is a failure-driven game, and there's plenty of it in the game, all right? So as a freshman, it is important to set goals, but they should be process-oriented, not just outcome-oriented, all right? So what does process-oriented goals even look like? Focus on daily and maybe weekly goals of what you're actually doing, all right? Instead of stressing about landing a scholarship, I'd focus on what I can control right now. Set daily and even weekly goals that help you improve, like hitting a certain number of reps in the weight room, improving your batting average, or maybe even mastering a certain drill, all right? These are small, consistent steps that will add up over time, right? Maybe it's taking 10 swings a day. Maybe it's taking 100 swings a day. But if you're tracking those things, it's ultimately gonna help you out a ton. And this is where tracking your progress will help out visualize it. So keep a journal or maybe even log your progress in your notes app. Um, this could include tracking your workouts, your performance, your games, even in your mental development, tracking like how well you feel going into a game. Those things, the more you track, the more you manage, the more you manage, the more it gets improved, all right? So tracking your progress not only keeps you accountable, but it gives you something tangible to look back on and see how far you've come. I include a two-week challenge for all the students inside my academy because I think that's a very easy way of being able to visualize the success that you're currently having in a program. So adjust your goals, guys. This is something that's so huge, all right? We wanna be able to adjust our goals as you're growing, right? You wanna be able to hit those goals and some, right? But if you're not hitting those goals, you need to be able to adjust those goals accordingly, all right? So remember, as you develop physically and mentally, your goals should evolve too. If I was a freshman, I'd revisit my goals regularly, all right, to make sure that they're still challenging and they're still relevant. It's also important, like, you don't need to remind yourself of your goals like once a week or once a month. You should probably remind yourself of your goals every single day. You should wake up and you should know what your goals are. Maybe create an iPhone, you know, wallpaper that reminds you of it. Every time you open or unlock your phone to check what time it is, you'll remind yourself of what those goals are and you should be able to have that conversation with yourself on if you're actually pushing yourself to the best of your ability to achieve those goals or not. So make sure you're challenging yourself. And as you keep getting stronger and faster and more skilled, push yourself to reach higher. So don't forget guys, just like Jazz is doing right now, don't forget to enjoy the game. Finally, guys, if I was a freshman, I wouldn't forget the most important part. 
enjoy the game, all right? Stay passionate. Baseball should be fun even when you're working hard. I'd make sure to keep that passion alive by focusing on what I love in the game, all right? So whether it's the thrill of the, just the competition, the 1v1 against a pitcher and a hitter, the you know camaraderie with the teammates, the, the joy of just playing the game and competing, guys, Staying passionate is what's gonna keep you motivated through the ups and downs. And I promise you, there are gonna be downs. You have to have a passion for this game to be able to work through those times. So build strong relationships. I'd also focus on building strong relationships, guys, with my teammates and even my coaches. So baseball is a team sport, and the bonds you build with your team can make the journey that much more enjoyable. Plus, having a strong support system is crucial when you're chasing those big goals because there are going to be setbacks. You have to have that support system in place. So this is where uh, you want to make sure to be able to celebrate those small wins, guys. Uh, lastly, you want to be able to ce celebrate those small wins along, uh, wins along the way because every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. So whether it's mastering a new skill, hitting a new personal best, or just having a great practice, Take a moment to acknowledge and appreciate where you were at and where you're currently at and where you're going if you keep this up, all right? There are gonna be small wins along the way. You have to acknowledge that you're ultimately growing not only just as a player, but as a person as well. So remember, it's not just about getting the college scholarship right away. It's about building the foundation that will help you get there. So focus on your physical and mental development, set process-oriented goals, and most importantly, enjoy the game. If you found this video helpful, and if you're serious and you've made it this far and you're trying to take your game to the next level, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what I teach my students inside my academy about. So now, if you're a high school baseball player who's an uncommitted rising junior or senior who wants to develop even quicker, I have some instructions for you right now, which is go ahead and book a call with me if you're looking for some help. And the link is down below in the description to be able to book a call. So I always love living by the quote, do today what others won't, so tomorrow you can do what others can't. It is a very powerful quote, which I just love to think about because it really is a daily grind in what we're able to achieve and those things will compound on each other. So if you're a varsity high school baseball, baseball player aiming to land a D1 scholarship here in the near future, let me help you prepare you by getting you on that path inside my program. So head over to MendozaBaseballAcademy.com, which is linked down below in the description if you wanna work one-on-one -on -one with me inside my academy. That way you can see how we can help you become the best player you're meant to be. You can also just watch the video down below in the description if you are interested a little bit more on how my academy operates and whatnot, because that video, uh, learning about my triple play, the how to play college baseball, that's probably one of the most valuable videos that you could watch if you're interested in joining into my academy. So keep working hard, stay focused, and I'll see you on the next one.